You're watching West Hartford Community Television. You're watching West Hartford Community Television. For the community, by the community. what the subject is going to be tonight. What is your plan for the summer? Guess what? what? If you don't have no plans for the summer, then you have problems for the summer. You don't want no problems, right? No. So you all have a plan, correct? Yes. And those of you who don't have a plan, we can help each other with a plan, right? Yes. I have a good suggestion for you young gentlemen. Guess what it is? What? On your block you live. On the street you live, you can get a clipboard, a pen, and you can go to each one of your neighbors. What day y'all have your trash pickup? Thursday. Thursday? Thursday. So guess what? Wednesday night, before it get dark, you get that clipboard, that pen, say clients. Clients. They become your clients. You go to your next door, across the street, or down the street, or you can start at the beginning of the block, knock on the door, Look on the mailbox, see who names on there, and you address them as Mr. or Mrs. You say who your name is and say, I would like to know if it's all right Wednesday night before it get dark, if I can take your trash out on the curb. Now guess what? what? How many houses on your block about? Uh, 10. 10? 10? 20? Yeah, guess what? 25. All right. So now you all have a summer job, safe job, you don't have to drive across town. It's right there in your neighborhood where you all know most of the people in your neighborhood, right? Yes. yes. Wouldn't that be a good summer job? Yes. Wouldn't that be extra change in your pockets? Yes. You better help your mom with your summer school, back to school clothes, right? Yes. Or buy little personal things you need for home, right? Yes. Isn't it an honest job? Yes. Think about that. What do you all think about that? That's, that's one good plan, right? Yes. Now let me ask you all something. Tell me what would your plan be for the summer? My plan will be helping my neighbors clean around the neighborhood, helping them do some stuff around the summer. Wow. Isn't that nice, you all? Yes. Isn't that a good idea? Yes. Let's give her a hand. <laughs> Who's next? Xavier. How you doing, Xavier? Good. What will be your plan for the summer? Play basketball. Play basketball? Yes. Really? Yes. Against who? With who? Snake or Jordan, if I see him around. Really? Yeah. Would that be for the whole summer or that part of the summer? Part. So what would you do for the other part? Um, probably ask my mom or probably save up my money so I could buy a pool and, we, and go swimming in the pool. Okay. Now, boys and girls, yes. do you know why I ask you all what is your plan for the summer? Because if you don't have any plans, you have problems. Do you all know why I came up with that theme and that subject? No. No. Okay. If you're not occupied doing something constructive, do you know that's when peer pressure kicks in? When you're not occupied doing something constructively, that's when some of your friends come up to you and come by your house and say, come on, man, let's go do something that's not right. But if you're preoccupied and you're doing something constructive, then you can tell them, I'm doing something right now. I don't want to get into no problems. I don't want to have no problems for the summer. I don't want to get into no trouble. If that's what y'all want to do with y'all life, y'all can do it. But I'm doing something constructive. That's what I say about if you don't have any plans, you have problems. Peer pressure means people you're equal, your friends. They'll start calling you names. They make you feel unaccepted. They make you feel unwanted. They make you feel like you're nobody to make you feel like, well, if they're going to treat me that way, I might as well join in with them. Y'all understand that? Yes. yes. 
But if you're doing something preoccupied, constructive to occupy your time, you can tell them, go ahead on. I don't want to do that. I'm doing something already. But if you don't have nothing to do, that'll make you feel like, well, I'm just sitting around not doing nothing. I might as well go out with them. Then you find yourself in trouble. Now you have more problems because you find yourself in juvenile detention. Y'all get the picture? Yes. I want y'all to show quality leadership. Don't you know each and every one of y'all right now in this circle are leaders, not followers. It's okay to follow somebody who's leading you in a positive way. You understand that, right? Yes. It's time to be a follower when somebody's leading you positive or you have a positive leader. But it's not something to be a, lead, be a follower if somebody leading you in a negative way. Y'all understand that? Yes. But each and every one of y'all are positive leaders, correct? Yes. And y'all encouraging one another, right? Yes. If Shamik say to you, I'm feeling bad today. Nobody wants to be my friend. I feel unaccepted. How would y'all handle that? If Shamik was sad and he had no friends, then somebody would help him. They would not like say, I hate you and all that stuff. That's just being rude and bullying. Because you don't want to be a bully when you grow up. That's going to be rude to other people when you talk to them or when you go around somebody. And you know what? That's called setting a good example for other people. Because when you're negative towards somebody, other people try to join in. You understand that, right? Yes. You want to victimize nobody, right? Yes. You want to treat everybody good and encourage everybody to have a safe summer, right? Yes. And you know what you look forward to? Somebody said something that was very, very constructive, and I want them to speak on a little more. Somebody said that what they would do is share their books they have, and if somebody failing in a subject, they would try to tutor them and help them. That was very outstanding. Who made that statement? Jaya. You want to elaborate a little more on it, Jaya? Want to talk about it a little more? Yeah. Go ahead. Each and every one of y'all, tell me your age and the grade you're in. Starting, Shamik. My name is Shamik, and I'm in the third grade. How old are you? Eight. Trinity. My name is Trinity, and I am in third grade, and I am eight years old. My name is Jayana Jackson. I'm nine. I'm nine year old, I'm nine years old, and I'm in the third grade. My name is Aviana Joseph, Joseph and I'm, a, I'm, and I'm a eight years old, and I'm in third grade. Mm -hmm. My name's Ruben, and I'm, in, I'm nine, and I'm in third grade. My name is Christian, and I, and I am eight, and I am in third grade. My name is Ms. Marie. I'm in third grade. I'm nine years old. My name is Jaya. I'm ten, and I'm in the fifth grade. Do you all know how important it is to make sure you get everything you can get in the third grade to be able to reach the fourth grade? Do you all know the third grade prepared you for the fourth grade? Yes. Are you all aware of that? Yes. And the fourth grade prepared you for what? Fifth. Fifth. So if you miss out on the third grade, does that help you or hurt you? Hurt, hurt you. you. So that means you want to concentrate while in the third grade as learn and grasp as much as you can while you're in the third grade so you'll be prepared for what? Fourth, 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 grade. fourth grade. That's right. So who's really progressing in the third grade. Would you like to share what you share what you progress in the third grade? How about you? You want to start with you, Chris? Christian. Christopher? Kristen? 
How are you doing in third grade? I'm doing good. What's your best subject? My best subject would be math and reading. Really? You're doing good with it? Yes. Who's next? Me. Yeah. I'm in the fifth grade actually and I'm doing good in writing because I'm writing a lot of stories. It's nonfiction and fictional and historical and it's about like mm, people in the old times like Roberto Clemente, Jackie Robinson, what I would do for the summer air and Harriet Tubman, how they were leaders. Who's next? Who's next? Shamik. Um, Shamik. Go ahead. My favorite subject in school is math and reading. And the kind of books that I like to read are like sports. And for math, I like all types of math. Really? Yes. Trinity? I, I like I like math, timetables time and math, and we do big. Really? Yeah. How are you doing in it? Good. Who's next? Um, I like math and reading because reading, I like stories like Diaries, Dag Boy Be Kids, and other kinds of books like tales, folk tales, and tales about other people being leaders. Do you know how important it is to read? Do anybody know? It, anybody helps, know? it helps you on your grade levels. Reading helps you focus on um, studying. One at a time. Go ahead. Really? Reading is very important. It teaches you all how to pronounce words. It teaches you all how to be articulate. Say articulate. Articulate. Speak eloquently. Eloquently. We try not to practice using slang, which, right? Yes. yes. Now, do you, can anybody define slang? Which? You know what slang is? It's a language that people use in their community to communicate with one another. But when you get so accustomed to talking that way, when you go outside your community, you take it with you. You all understand that? Yes. yes. Think of some of the slang they use. Cussing? Well, yeah, not, well, not really cussing, but think about other slang they use that's not appropriate that you don't want to get accustomed to talking in that manner because when you leave out your environment, you start getting accustomed to talking that way and you go talk to other people, they'd be like, wow, you get labeled or stereotyped. You know what I'm going to say, stereotype? Stereotypes. Yes. Can you think of some of the slang words they use? That's not nice? Can we give you some example? Yes. <coughs> you hear cats come up. What up, my dog? You understand that? Yes. yes. You don't want to get accustomed to talking that way. Because when you leave off your block, you leave out of your environment, how would you be talking? Hello. With manners. Hi. With manners, right? Yeah. But, if, but go ahead. Positively. Positively, that's right. No cursing. No cursing. Courtesy. Courtesy. I don't think of positive Proper. words. Say it again. Proper. Yes. No think of. No thinking on um, positive words. That's right. No thinking negative. That's right. So you don't want to use language, right? No. no. People think it sounds cool to talk that way, but that's not a way to talk because it's not proper English, right? No. And you know the other word they use too, right? No. 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 Well, guess what? It's good you don't know because you don't want to get accustomed to talking that way. I like the way you all talk with mannerism. And you know what it really shows me? How your parents are bringing you all up. The way you all speaking now, I can tell this way you all speak in your household, right? Yes. And that's a good way of speaking. 
It shows you intelligent. You understand it? Yes. yes. It shows you have respect for yourself. It shows you have respect for others. Isn't it good to have respect for others? Yes. Talk to people the way you want to be talked to, right? Yes. yes. No ranking? You know, who know what ranking is? One at a time. Who know what ranking is? Me. Go ahead, Ray. What is, what is it? Ranking is like when somebody says something mean about somebody. That's one form of it. Anybody else? Me. What? Ranking is like if you say, like, you look. Um, You're right. Finish it. You would look like stupid. Right. And you look ugly. Yes. And. And guess what? Everybody in here has feelings, right? Yes. yes. Nobody wants to be insulted, right? No. Say verbal assault. That's a form of bullying. That's a form of bullying. Y'all understand that, right? Yes. yes. Well, thank you all for coming out today, and thank you all for being a part of Mr. Pop's neighborhood, and we're going to have a very positive summer and a very constructive summer, right? Yes. yes. It's a wonderful day in the neighborhood, wonderful day in the neighborhood. Wonderful day in the neighborhood, ain't nobody can deny it. Yo, Ruga. What's up, Pop? Let the kids know number one is educational and the rap game is recreational. All right. Show them what you got. Yeah. Ruga Belly. Off of W. Yeah. Huh? Okay. Uh, uh, kids put your hands up and open up your books, kids put your hands up and open up your books, kids put your hands up and open up your books and listen to this hook. Yeah, yo, I felt my life was cut short till I met this mentor named Pop up the juvenile court. He sat me down, he started when he was eight, when he was a class clown. Yup, and then he started telling me that he must confess when he was eight, it was called DCYF. He told me that how to be at my best. Now that I'm up in DCF, he told me don't get involved up in game turf. Till I met this great social worker named Mr. Duckworth. He told me to listen to pop because you're going through a phase. Yeah, and then I met this great worker named Sabrina Dougie Hayes. Then Pop showed me about the boss named Mr. Albert Johnson, the supervisor. Give him a lobster for appetizer. Yeah, the first thing I learned is watch out for so-called friends. Cause they the one that turn on you, get you locked in the pen. When I spent my time up at NYI, my cellmate was game banging, I was writing my rhyme. My friend was a pad in the pen. I was trying to figure out how to correct what would got me in. Now it's about education and graduation. Finishing school will be my great celebration. <laughs> Young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Yeah, I said. Young kids, this is the kind of knowledge that will get you into college. Google Valley, Papa Dot Records. You already know what it is. What up, J Bug? I see you. Much love. Go to school, go to school, follow your dream, follow your dream, achieve your goals, achieve your goals, and relate to me, and relate to me. I do this for the kids, so finish school, and pump your mind full of knowledge like you're in the tube, and graduate and go to college, what I'm giving you, streets trying to give you gang violence, drug dealing too. Listen up to me, kids, don't let it get into you. All I do is get you stabbed and shot, family missing you. You can even ask my mental pop, the streets is pitiful. He's been through the rough times, what I'm trying to spit to you. Don't sell drugs or in the streets claiming sex. Be well above and you can rearrange your rep from young to educated. Young 
and very bravest. Do something with your life, I know you can make it. Your brain and memory card, I know you can save it. I just want to say big ups to my cousin David. We a powerful movement. We the world's greatest. We a powerful movement. Young people go to school, go to school. Follow your dream, follow your dream. Achieve your goals, achieve your goals. And relate to me, and relate to young people. Go to school, go to school. Follow your dream. Follow your trees, achieve your goals, achieve your goals, and relate to me, and relate to me, yeah. Ruga Valley, it's best belief for the kids right here. Go to school and get that education. Don't let anybody tell you you can't do it. Yeah. So everybody rock with us, show you what we can to do. Can to take it over, now we entertaining you. You are now entertained, ready for whatever came to wake up your brain. My flow so insane, every time I spit, money on my mind, just to leave, I'ma get a little bit of shine in the all way fit it. My team stands tall while you looking like a midget, I don't think you get it, I don't think you get it. Hold up, watch the crowd go wild when I roll up. Ruka Valley Cashew, so I go nuts. Every time I spit, you know us. Every time I spit, so everybody know us. You like to talk about guns a little, homie, so what? Talk a little fat, I think it's about to throw up. Talk a little fat, I think it's about to throw up. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we came to do. All for W. Music you can listen to. So everybody rock with us. Show you what we came to do. Came to take it over. Now we entertaining you. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we came to do. All for W. Music you could listen to, so everybody rock with us. Show you what we came to do. Came to take it over. Now we entertaining you. Rugavel is the endless rap. Stop all the bullying in the game, violence and chit and chat. Best believe I'm spitting that flow that you could listen to. Hear it in your ear, I spit balls, I'm the sickest dude. Catch me on the avenue, yeah, but really trying to stop the violence. Trying to get the education so you can get knowledge. Go to the college and do it right. Cause the flow is so sick and I rap all day and night. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we came to do. All for W. Music you could listen to. So everybody rock with us. Show you what we came to do. Came to take it over. Now we entertaining you. Ain't nobody stopping us. Show you what we came to do. All for W. Music you could listen to. So everybody rock with us. Show you what we came to do. Came to take it over. Now we entertaining you. Yeah. Google Val, all for W, ready for whatever. You dig?